okay so we, I have already opened the Windows 10 machine so you can see Windows 10 environment so what we need to do is so open that Wireshark run as administrator and then go to capture it's taking some time is loading now okay still loading and then option click options capture and options okay here so you need to input the TCP port 80 okay then proceed start you will now go back to the member server so you need to open the member server okay the member server is open already so you have to open the the hosted server So IAS open already. So you can see that how quickly navigate. So if let's say if you click a welcome, so you can see it's very fast, it's open very fast. So what I'm going to do is just close it. I'm just trying to clear the browser catchy. So right click the charm, control panel. then click large icon there you can see the internet option so the browser history so in the internet options you can see the delete browser history So then apply. Click OK. So you now go back to Windows 10 server. So Windows 10 machine. Windows 10 machine. We will now go going to check the the sync file, the sync and acknowledge. So. You can review the details here in the in, in white shark in white shark so just note please note here so sync the first three of the connection sync acknowledge sequences of first three packets hint try scrolling up just trying to scrolling up the first three packet is very important because that is the last connection what we cleared So the remainder of capture shows that uh, from the member servers retrieving the page using HTTP. So what we open on the member server. So we will now check this sync and acknowledge. There's a huge so 80 is connected. So we will now check on call machine. So you now go back, uh, go to the call machine. We will check this. Okay, the call machines. We open the terminal window. So we need to enter the command HP command. T I find I face U ten find yes Q
so let's see so there's a small mistake there so please remember this this is a case sensitive uh, ignore uh, ignore the uh, line break typing the whole command so you have to be very careful so the, this command is a case sensitive so you can see that uh, HP ping is sorted please be aware that it may take a few seconds for for uh, the member server to be affected so so the attack is started now the ping using the HP ping so we will now uh, slowly we will now go back to the windows 10 and check uh, the voice shocks the connections everything so we will let's let's see now okay so windows 10 so let me close the connection first the voice shock so let me open reopen the voice shock So capture option capture interface you can select start start option then we can see So let's wait for some time. It's still scanning, I, I guess. On Windows, uh, on call on call emissions is still running. So you have to wait for some time. You can see here. So the all the flooded IP 192.168.0.2 is a domain server. I mean, uh, member server. Member servers is uh, uh, is attacking happening the DOS attack so we will see the member servers we will try to open the IAS server so let's see how it scores so just open the same page so just try to open still loading loading it takes some time because this last time it was open very fast right so now you, you can see it's still loading so see it takes time and then uh, at the same time the Kali machines you can see is still taking some time to sending the packet and then Windows 10 machines and the Wireshark uh, uh, you can see the Wireshark on Windows 10 machines so Windows 10 machine is still capturing the packet so it's sending all the packet to uh, member member server so Windows member server so it, it's sometime uh, you know so your Windows server th these Windows servers may, may lose connectivity while working on the lab so as uh, as as result of your flood of sync packets being sent to the interface so anyway this is how it how uh, we use the uh, DOS attack to a server so let's see let's go for the next lab okay anti phishing toolbox netcraft how do we use this so before installing this antivirus uh, sorry anti uh, anti phishing toolbar netcraft uh, you need to download Firefox but because it does support only the Firefox uh, the plugin support only the Firefox so we need to open that Windows 10 machine now and then install the Firefox in order to install this in order to install the net okay so on Windows 10 machines I have installed the Firefox because the fi uh, Firefox is uh, one of the best tools what I am using right now 
but the netcraft does support uh, Chrome and Firefox I think the, uh, the two major and then maybe Opera I'm not sure but the Firefox I'm going we, we are going to test uh, the netcraft anti phishing toolbar with Firefox so let's open the website so we're going to download So the net netcraft dot uh, com apps browser. So then enter. So once you enter, so it takes some time. It's loading now. It's loading now. So it takes some time. Okay. So now it's open. Uh, so netcraft website is open now so so this is uh, exit URL so the app and browser so you have to open this so you just scroll down you can see here the risk rating suspected phishing So you will see the features netcraft anti phishing. So all the way down. You will see Okay there right the get it now. So the browser extension can be downloaded for free from your browser. So there you have to add a extension. So add to Firefox. So can we double check so whether it's installed or not? Okay. You can see here it's is downloaded so you will now check for the website for for a website that is fished uh, you can obtain a list from the following website uh, I will let me provide This website is one of the most recent database of uh, fished websites. So you can just copy any of the fished websites on this list. So there is a small typo typo. So you need to fish. So ticking is loading now. So it's open now. So so you can enter any phishing website here. Is it phishing? You know, it it will uh, shows the it the, the website is phishing or legitimate websites. You know, the, the important thing is uh, this those website this website is dynamically the phishing tank website is dynamically update and collects a list of uh, suspected phishing websites so if you click on URL that needs to be uh, outed as a phishing site you need to register with the uh, phishing t uh, fish tank uh, to vote so this is uh, one of the noted notable point so you can see that add a phishing here is a tabs a very verify your phishing phishing search so verifying phishing you need to log in so those the, you can find a lot of tabs yeah, a lot of features there so one by one so this that's it guys uh, so you can so there is one more thing scroll down li little bit uh, you can see the recent submission so for a 
for example let's let me try open you can see here the captcha is uh, window is open so it's not verified that so you can try go for another so you can see this is the example submissions you can check exact you just copy the same thing the captcha is open you can just co uh, copy the whole thing so let's try open this okay you can see some the language so different language so it's open because it's not opening the exact URL so you can check this one by one so if you want you can register uh, you can check this you can also check this also let me let, let's go try this enter so this secure connection failed because it's not verified these phishings they, they broke uh, uh, they detected so that's why it's not opening on this uh, browser so okay that's it guys uh, please subscribe my channel uh, press the bell button get more update see you bye bye